Hey everyone, me and for 96 here, and in the last episode, the deck tree had a kid, and we finished the forest. Ah, uh, that's because the Kokairi never grow up, even after 7 years, they are still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you may have already guessed, you are not a Kokairi, you are actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you, thank you, Miss Apto Sprout. Oh, good god almighty. <sighs> Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule uni unified this country, there was a fierce war on our world. In our world. Not on it. In it. In it. In it. One day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust her child to the great Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. Deku Tree consents he was a child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokairi, and now finally the day of destiny has come. I actually read that. Wow. I'm impressed with myself. That's... Ugh. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of cookies! Uh, uh, Hyrule. Now, Nick, break the curses on all of the temples, and return peace to Hyrule! Next time on Let's Play Legend of Gaia! Except I'm not H.C. Bailey, so I can't, and that's the wrong game, so, you know. Um, but anyway, now I'm going to head to... Uh, I can't figure out where I'm going to go next. I have about eight, nine minutes left. I guess I could head to uh, Lon Lon Ranch, get Epona. And then I'll take on... No, you know what? I'm going to take on the quiver upgrade. The quiver that holds our arrows. You're going to be able to get two quiver upgrades in the game. The first one you can get is uh, in Kakariko Village at the new uh, archery range. At the new shooting gallery, rather, that moved from Hyrule Town Market. And you have one over in Gerudo Valley you obviously can't get yet. Alright, we're here in Kakariko Village. And you can tell I caught a very strange item in a bottle. That's a Poe. And I found it. On that little balcony overlooking the entrance to Kakariko Village. And um, if you ever find a Poe running around, remember the spot. Because when you go on horseback and you you kill it, it'll be a big Poe. And actually, this guy's going to tell me... Sell me something in a bottle. No, I can't take that. That's not what I want to buy. Well, yeah, I'm going to drape my Poe then. Hey, it actually healed me. Usually it hurts. It hurts. Oh my god! Metal Gear! Although something you can do that I'm going to go ahead and show you... Uh, you know, actually I'm going to go ahead and do the shooting gallery thing first, because this is going to cost me 20 rupees. And let's see if I can do this on my first try. Want to play? Blah blah blah. Basically, it's the same shooting range as, uh, as a kid. Same rupee styles and all that. Only, um, it's random. So it could be uh, the green rupee first, it could be these blue rupees, next could be one of the red rupee things. I mean, it's untold what could come first. Boop. Wonderful, I got on my first go. And as a prize, you get a big quiver. I can carry 40 arrows. Sweet. 20 rupees, and on the first go, I got that. Certainly worth it. Alright, now I'm going to head to the graveyard, pick up that rock right in front, and pick up a bug. And you're going to see something really cool. Well, good money grinding thing. Good rupee grinding thing. Okay, so I got my bug in a bottle, and now I'm going to head to that person that wants something in a bottle. Okay, Metal Gear. I got this, I got this. Anyway, this guy wants you to drop bugs in front of him, and he will buy them. And what you could do, if you have more empty bottles, and you're low on money, and you need money, you could drop the bugs, and you'll drop three of them. Bottle up one of them, and then bottle up the other two, or as many as you can. And for each bug, each set of bugs in a bottle, he'll give you 50 rupees. Watch. Oh, I'll buy it for 50 rupees. And now you have bug money. Tch, <laughs> pretty much. Alright, so now I'm going to head over to, um, the Gold Sculptula House, and we will take care of that thing there. Oh, well, uh, I have 30 Gold Sculptulas, I'm going to see what I can get uh, from these guys. I already got the Stone of Agony from one of them. Let's head back here. 
Yep, it's you, isn't it? Yep, the curse has been broken. Thank you, here's a reward. And what do I get? Yes, the giant's wallet! Now I can carry up to 500 rupees. That is beyond awesome. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm tempted to... I'm tempted to go and get more money, but I'm not going to... Uh, yes I am. Not getting rid of my lawn lawn milk, though. I do not want to get rid of my lawn lawn milk. I mean, that's, if that stuff's lasted for the seven years the sages held me back, I mean, come on. This stuff's gotta have some sort of, like, crazy preservative. I mean, it deserves to be kept. <laughs> Plus, it heals five hearts for each helping, and there are two helpings, so it's, like, awesome. So I'm just gonna catch myself um, a bug, and I'm gonna multiply it to two bugs, and I'm gonna sell them both. Now watch. Actually, you know what? I could catch one of these bugs. And then bottle up another one, because there were three. Sweet. Three, or two bugs in a bottle. Actually, that'd be six, considering for every bug in a bottle you have, it's actually three. There are actually three bugs. I really want to play my trade part 2 heck out. Um, at the point I'm at, and how long I usually play, how long I have to play, I should be able to beat the game, actually, before I uh, have to head off to bed. And it's a Tuesday, guys! I recorded on Monday, and now on Tuesday. I'm up and raring to go, I'm probably gonna record some Transformers tomorrow. Alright, so there, now we have 300 rupees! And if you don't know how I have 300 rupees, Get the giant's wallet! Oh, 302. Can't forget those two, guys. Can never forget those two. Ah. So anyway, at this point, we're gonna be able to race Ingo at Lon Lon Ranch several times. So, um, I'm gonna meet you guys there in the next episode, actually. Um, and then we'll take care of the... Well, I'm gonna end the episode here and see if um, I can add anything onto it, as in me getting the horse, if it's not gonna take that long. So I'll see you guys next time. Me one four nine eight six out at eight fifty nine.